Hi Cancer, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Festivus, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Let's see what the universe has for you. All right. Overall energy looks like you are having to leave and or abandon something. Try to figure out a new path. This is something you've been thinking about for a long time. Not only that, but this is something that uh, lost its luster. You guys, if this has to do with a personal relationship, doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of communication. Not only that, but I'm getting intuitively that it kind of feels like whomever you're dealing with what did I call that? I call it graveyard communication or keep alive communication. I think that's better, right? Keep alive just basically means that they check in with you every now and then just to, you know, kind of take your emotional temperature, see if you've blocked them, see if you're mad at them. You know what I mean? It just kind of feels like very, 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 um, minimal communication between you and your person. Now, at the end of the day, Cancer, Cancer's like, listen, uh-uh, nothing. <sighs> so you're trying to figure out which way to go, what to do. Well, hello, Aquarius. Oh, we got Leo here twice, Page of Swords. A lot of swords on the table, Cancer. Um, I will tell you that if you do, do decide to move on, move away from this person, that might actually be better for you, um, better for the situation. This King of Swords with the Seven of Swords says to me that it almost even feels like this person promised that they would increase or better their communication, but they've kind of reneged on that with the Four of Swords, right? Uh, Four of Swords, it, uh, for me as a reader, has to do with inactivity, right? Some people call that even the lazy card, as in, you know what? I'm just kind of falling back and <sighs> uh, there's just no little to no activity. Not only that, but with the strength card here twice, it's almost like you mustered up whatever strength you could to keep this thing alive, but I do kind of feel like, you know, you're looking at the front door, right? You're, you're two of wands as you're trying to figure out, you know, which path to take, which way to go. If, if the two of us are actually going to work out, I do kind of feel like your friends, family, bunch of people are telling you, girl, dude, you need to move on. The cancer is like, well, no, I'm going to wait them out. I'm going to give them about another month and see what they do. Four weeks. And there's a minimal communication, right? Here's the king of swords. I feel like in the beginning, when God created the heaven and earth, your person was chatty patty, right? Making all these promises. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But the king of swords paired with the seven of swords says to me, Dave, you know, kind of was real, um, how do you say, real certain and sure and, you know, just, you know, it kind of like they came across as, yeah, this is what I'm going to do and you could take my word. I'm also hearing that too. Like, oh, you could take my word and my word is everything to me. And if I give you my word, but you started, they started out as the king, but then they wound up as a page right? Meaning again, sparse or minimal communication. Yeah. And I do kind of feel like you're trying not to see that whatever this is, you are going to have to move on and move away from. And do me a favor, find a cup on the table, right? Find a cup. We have Pisces here representing water, right? But other than that, it's, you have the air signs here with, with Aquarius and then also um, Gemini there. And then you have fire here with Leo and you got more air with Libra, right? So it's almost like this person is feeding you everything up under the sun, except for emotion or action that says, Hey, I want to get to know you. Hey, I want to be with you. Hey, 
you know, I see us together and, you know, then following up with actions to quote unquote prove that. Now, also at the same time, the King of Swords ain't no slouch, right? The King of Swords, typically, yeah, they do give you their word. Um, they're, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to show up. But again, paired with the Seven of Swords, it's like, eh, I don't know. This person made a promise. And then soon after they made this promise, they ran for the hills. Let's see what some clarifiers say. Why did they run for the hills? Yeah, this got off to, this was promising. Um, but angels are also saying too, every time I see the single, six of wands, I always have to include the five of wands, right? Five of wands representing bumping heads, things just kind of being in disarray or a little chaotic or stressful, right? So perhaps did this person tell you these things while they were on their way out of a chaotic situation with you or with someone else? And maybe they bit off more than they can chew. Now with the justice card there and the three of pentacles, you know, it kind of feels like, um, it just kind of feels like this was, this had promise. You know what I mean? This was kind of, you know, you guys, they, uh, they had a lot going for them is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Ten of pentacles. They had a lot going for them. They, this looked promising. It looked like, yeah, you. not only that, but I believe that you believed cancer in this person's word. And a queen of wands, why the hell is she here? Okay. Queen of wands is um, you getting tired of waiting, you being impatient. It's almost like their words now are falling on your deaf ears, Cancer. And that Queen of Wands, you know, she is strong and powerful and psychic and, and passionate and lusty and attractive and magnetic. And that just kind of says to me, that was your hopes and your expectations for this. You had no reason to believe that this person was not going to hold true on their word. And you stuck around, finally a cup on a table, you stuck around waiting for this person to turn from the King of Swords to the King of Cups. And not only that, angels are also saying too, this Page of Swords is almost like this King of Swords making excuses why they're not the Page of, the King of Cups, excuse me. This King of Swords making excuses as to why they're not the King of Cups. Right. The hanged man, hanging man, things got, you know, I mean, at the, at the same time, right. I feel like for you, cancer, maybe you pulled your energy back to give them time and space to prove themselves and, you know, kind of quote unquote, show up. Um, but then, you know, I think it, 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 I think you sent a message to your person that you weren't interested when you did that, by the way, that may not resonate with a bunch of you guys, but it may resonate with some, I think when you pulled your energy back, waiting for this person to make good on their promise, they interpreted it as, Oh, cancer is not interested. Cancer doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So I think that's what caused this person to pull back their energy as well. So you have the beauty and the beast card of the strength, right? Hanging in there, trying to trust in the opposite energy to, you know, kind of not live out the negative side, right? In other words, you, you were trusting this person to not show you their kind of quote unquote ugly side but I feel like when you did that, here, here it is right here. When you pulled your energy back, I feel like they pulled their energy back and this lion, you know, to an extent went to a cat. It was almost like you pulling your energy back kind of diffused them. And, and you kind of waited around to see if this King of Cups was going to show up. You were curious about whether or not that King of Cups was, sh was showing up. But also at the same time, I feel like your person 
was also at the same time waiting for you to show up as well. Interest, interesting reading. That kind of took a little bit of a spin. Yeah, now you're stressed out because I feel like um, I feel like intuitively for a lot of you guys, you may not have wanted to give this person a chance. And now that you did give them a chance and it looks like they're not making good on their promise. Now you're, you're worried, you're bothered, you're anxious, you know, you're trying to hold on, you're trying to be positive. But at the end of the day, I kind of feel like, you know, at the same time, you, you don't see it happening. So it's almost like you're trying to prepare for your exit. You have the justice card here again. So you have Libra here twice. You have Leo here twice. You have the six of wands here twice. Libra and Leo. Libra's air and Leo is fire. Yeah, so you were waiting for the air of their word to turn into the fiery action or just action. And it looks as though it was supposed to happen, right? With the six of wands. You guys were supposed to move forward, but now it looks like the only movement you're doing is away from this person. And to you, it feels right. Because again, initially it felt like you didn't want to give them a shot in the first place. That's interesting. Who do we have here? Libra, Leo again. We have Scorpio. We have Gemini. Pisces is here as the hanged man. We have Aries, more fiery energy. You have Leo again here. Libra again there and Aquarius. Yeah, wow. So what's the advice for Cancer, Angel Answers? You're ready. Yeah, you're ready to move on. Recovery. Yeah, um, Angels just also said to me too, the strength card also represents trust, right? You were, it was almost like you were trying to trust the situation, but deep down knew that you shouldn't or couldn't. Now you feel like they wasted your time. Forgiveness. I don't think this has to do with forgiveness from your person or forgiving your person. I feel like you need to forgive yourself for whatever it was, whether you thought they were going to change and then they didn't. So you felt like you betrayed yourself or you thought they were going to change and they didn't and now you need to forgive them it's one of them cancel big happy changes once you do all right moonology what do we have for cancer um angels are saying within time uh i feel like that's probably okay that makes sense angels are saying in time you guys will both figure out what happened here why this never really got off the ground by the way it's time to release negativity and i feel i really do feel like it's whatever expectations you had cancer i think if you kind of surrender those or release those um the situation actually may improve just said it release those expectations of this person because you might have taken their word but then didn't believe them and the disbelief uh of your energy dictated the situation be bold and make the first move <clears throat> last card adjustments are required yeah i feel like if you kind of really 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 wipe the slate clean here cancer you would actually see a different response in this situation but if for some reason you were holding on to expectations you know disbelief in this person disbelief in this situation i feel like that's going to continue to kind of plague this situation all right my lovely cancer i'm going to go ahead and leave it there if the reading does resonate don't forget to like subscribe and comment love you cancer bye